A very good evening on behalf of Kuln Sparrow Hub. Myself, Ms. Nojahan Sheikh, would like to welcome you all for the wonderful webinar today. We have gathered here for our, to know more about the NIOS program, and our speaker will enlighten us with his valuable knowledge on the same. A warm welcome to our guest speaker for today, Dr. Dawood White, sir. Dr. Dawood White is a mindset coach, an educationist, quasar, an edupreneur, and a person with a golden heart. He is an electronics engineer, MBA in education, MBA grad, and an MA in education. He left his lavish career as a patent attorney in Switzerland, Moscow, and Dubai to work on SDG, that's a global goals and skill workshops. He has authored the education riddle. He heads an online e-school and a sustainable academy, Golden Sparrow Hub Schooling, which is headquartered at Navi Mumbai. He loves horses, quizzing, and travels. He has worked on different forums for creative education, panelist at IIT, and has designed life skill curriculum for K-12 schools. He's a vivid reader and a writer to many articles. You can reach him at Dawood at skyeducation.in. I repeat, Dawood at skyeducation.in. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dr. Dawood White. Over to you, sir. Thank you so much, ma'am. And that was very wonderful. To good to see uh, this is consistency that I welcome all of you. We've been doing these webinars and you've been very, very forthcoming audience. You've been coming in, asking questions. I think it's an entire team effort. One of the things we wanted to do at Golden Sparrow Upschooling was to create a tribe of people who believe in homeschooling. Maybe some are homeschoolers already. Some are people who are on the verge of homeschooling. Some are just curious about what this entire phenomenon called homeschooling is. And we would love to be part of this community, open ideas, exchange forums. And I think it's my honor and privilege to lead this team and hopefully do these webinars and sessions. Every Sunday, I've been knocking at your house, at your doors. And I hope you don't get too bored of me. Uh, we will, you know, hopefully have more parents coming in, which I love to do. But for today, you have to bear with me. And the entire session is dedicated to what is NIOS for itself. Before I even get into the idea of NIOS, I also would like to share a couple of slides on how did the entire concept of the concept of structured learning online came about. So today's webinar, again, why I welcome all of you. Good evening across India and the world. We've seen a lot of people who watch the recording. So if you're, if you're not live as well, still a very warm evening to everybody across. Today, the first of the many things we'll talk about is the idea of how education has changed. Well, how many of you still use BlackBerry? Anyone, you can raise your hand. You can give me an emoticon. You can let me know and embarrass yourself. I am absolutely sure, not, not you know, 99%, I'm 100% sure nobody uses a BlackBerry today. And, and why is that? Isn't BlackBerry a wonderful phone? It's a Canadian phone. And, you know, you would love to be Canada in this world of turbulent times where you're neutral. It's Switzerland or Canada. Yet, we have made the transitions. If not iPhone, it could be a Samsung, an Oppo, an MI, a Xiaomi, but not BlackBerry. You know, the whole idea was what was excellent few decades ago is redundant today. It's absolutely unacceptable to live in the time where we believe this is the only way forward. BlackBerry did not innovate when it was required to. I think that is what has happened not just to one company. It has happened to Nokia. It has happened to Compaq. It has happened to Blockbuster, to Kodak and multiple. In fact, in the last one and a half decades, 15 years, 52% of the Fortune 500 company have gone extinct. Yes, extinct like these dinosaurs. And I believe if we don't do good schooling, this is what's going to happen to our education system. Our schools are going out of business. Well, pandemic showed us if you don't innovate, if you don't be creative, if you are not ready to pivot, perhaps we are not changing ourselves. We will be like dinosaurs of the education industry. The new word, and I use that in the homeschoolers group, is called digital, physical and digital. For the multiple people out there, this is what I ask. You know, the subjects you and I were absolutely clear. We used to score, we used to love about them. Where are those subjects today? What have we done about it? Well, all the maths buff, a quick 
brain teasers or ice breakers as we start our session. Could you tell me what is the number here? In Roman numeral, right, what does M stand for? You can use your chat, you can tell me across. M stands for what? And those who are watching later, try telling me, try decoding for yourself. Remember, C is for century, right? M is perhaps a thousand. And if, if you are doing this, you know, I'm sure most of us are scratching our head saying this is not even relevant to you. What does M stands for in Roman? What does C stands for? What does this whole number stands for? And then we realize that well, this is how we looked at it. We're still living in 1934. We're still living in the 19th century, wanting our students to look at 21st century with tools of 20th century. When is the last time you use Roman numerals in your life, in your work? And the only time you will see Roman numbers is this. The aesthetic wall clock in some of our houses. Even that we've replaced with digital clocks. Right. The analog clocks don't work anymore. The pendulums are good for museum or physics lab, not for the houses where it swings. Really, the world has changed. And this is what I believe in. If your schooling, if your education is structured around the archaic curriculum, we need to change that. I'm not asking you to immediately go, you know, online. I'm asking you to take a relook at how our schools are being. You know, today when we talk about IEPs, individual education plans in the world where we talk about every child is unique. You still have 45 children in a classroom and we say, wow, let's education for us. You know, in the world of history or the Hindi, it says Gade Murde Ukharna, digging old graves. That's what history has become for our children. You know, they hate history because for them, history is all about remembering dates and numbers and names. Napoleon Bonaparte, they don't identify with Napoleon, right? Or the only time I loved Hindi was when Shah Rukh Khan was Mufasa and Aryan Khan was Simba. Well, that's not my word. That's a good friend of mine and she loves both of the father and son. This is what has happened. Or perhaps you will not give the flower to your wife, to your spouse, to someone who you love and tell this is ovary and stylus and stigma and petal or pollen tube. No, we don't do that. So why do we still continue to learn this way? You know, Mark Twain said something very interesting. Mark Twain said, I did not let my education interfere with my schooling. And I think that's what's happening. You know, there's a revolution brewing across and we are absolutely unaware of it. So quickly, let me ask you this. You see a lot of numbers on your screen. And I promise you it's just a few minutes before we dwell into the world of new boards. Tell me how many numbers are there in the beginning? Just the idea of what is the whole number line looking at? Can you read the number? Can you go from one, two, three, four in the order, in the ascending order? Let's go ahead and do it. How many numbers can you get? I'll give you 30 seconds. In 30 seconds, how many numbers can you get? Can you find two? You cannot skip two to go to three. You cannot skip four to go to five. And most of us are lost. We know the numbers exist. This numbers determine the talent, the skills our students have. They just don't have a framework. They don't have some mentors in their life. They don't have somebody to guide them. Well, I just, I'm, I'm redoing my scores. It's 30 seconds up. I hope you reach some numbers, some stage. Where have you reached? I'll not make it difficult for you. You can pause it. You can watch it. Most of you in the annual research, we did it. This is Sean Covey's Seven Habits of Teenagers. It's taken from that book. They don't reach beyond 19 or 20. If you're good with it, by the way, some of them are stuck in one to five. They just couldn't find two. And this is what talent means in our life. You know, all we try to do in Golden Sparrow or and as, as a program coordinator is give you a framework. And when I put these lines, you've got six boxes now or rather nine boxes now. Each of the box represents a number. So you can see one here and then the two will follow here. Then there'll be three. Then it's four somewhere absolutely here. There has to be five here. And then you keep going across. And by the time you finish it, you'll reach the magical number 54. Well, 54 is just what I could put in these boxes. That's what we are looking at in our children. We are here to provide a framework. We are here to give them guides. And I find it absolutely amusing that people were unaware of some amazing boards, amazing decisions. The government of India has given us. We were completely unaware of or like me, blinded by it. There were so many stereotypes with regards to education for a homeschooler in India. 
and hopefully we can do some work we can do some effort and take this conversation forward meanwhile if you have any question any suggestion don't hesitate ping us a message drop us a, a, a message or, or just unspeak here i'll be very unmute yourself and speak here we'll be very happy to answer you so all these conundrum all these dilemma took me to a lot of confusion i was a director of delhi public you know one of the top cbsc i schools and as a director i tried to bring a lot of changes my first change was go to the library and there was a message called shush no stop silence i says how can you have shush in silent in library library is for communication it's for conversation and then i had a small conference to attend at iit delhi and then i meet the legend i meet the hero i meet the mentor that i looked into and his his persona is something you saw in three idiots he is the funsuk wangru of three idiots the amir khan in real the one and only the legendary right he is sonam wangchuk sonam wangchuk sir changed the way i thought about it i told him sir what do you do in ladakh is absolutely amazing can i can i come and join you there he smiled his beautiful smile and he said why don't you go back to the city you come from and start something there he promised me when we do big he'll come and i'm waiting for the promise to come true but that's what sonam sir taught me and that was the beginning of a small journey where i started using all the learning i had i penned down into a book called the education riddle education the world is not difficult it's like a small riddle you need to decode it i started working on the growth mindset by carol dweck amazing work lot of dr ken robinson sugata mitra souls you know self organized learning system i traveled a lot to switzerland so i picked up something from scandinavia i worked with the russian scientists and i'll talk about it the idea was what culminated from the russians uae today has a four day weekend now sharja is implementing a four day weekend i learned that long time back in my visits to finland and then we said we must build a team in teachers we trust pasi salzberg is a renowned name in the education circle using pasi's work using finland why is finland so good in in the world of pisa test which is performance indicator for student assessment we worked out and out came this beautiful program called the golden sparrow golden sparrow hub schooling is an online structured creative k12 school a full fledged school why do i need it when i speak about homeschooling well i need it because as a educator i know i can't be my child's teacher the history teacher the maths teacher the physics teacher the english teacher the hindi teacher and also be a sports teacher take around it's all fun in the year one then i realize i need somebody serious to help my child have a structured program they still need to write the boards you can do away with the boards i would love it but then you you know you need your degrees at some point you need some rigor in your life so this is a beginning of the entire journey that i learned what golden sparrow is and i i met professor raja ram who taught me about what a alternate board could be and today in the first introduction i wanted to tell you this was the first and the only question when i could decode this answer which which all the today's webinar is about i was convinced this is the way forward and what's the question which board as people say ye sab to acha lagta hai but 10th mein kya karega bachcha what will the child do when it comes to grade 10 and that's the fear we have that is why we run to our schools because we know there are no alternatives my friends remember one only one statement something commendable i made and i really believe it's wonderful boards the boards we know all of the board cbsc state board cambridge ib nios will introduce that all of the boards icsc all of these boards by themselves are milestones not destination they are a milestone to celebrate yes enjoy the success of your child when they have a mark sheet in the hand when they have a transfer certificate but they are by no means guarantee a success in life your child could be a 99 percentage which is what we see in today's time but that do not guarantee forget success in life success in the next step success in colleges boards are just milestones so when you travel from mumbai to pune and you have a small you know marker which says all right now you reaching the ghats it's 55 kilometers more to pune you know that you reached a particular milestone this is where we belong to 
And then when I stumbled across the largest open schooling board in the world, I knew I have arrived at a good mile. I knew that this was the solution we homeschoolers needed. This was a confidence we needed. We needed the, the we needed to remove the stereotypes and the fear that is associated with NIOS. And I read it very clearly for you. An autonomous institution under Ministry of HRD, that is Government of India, GOI, the largest open schooling system board in the world. In the last 15 years or close to a decade now, almost 2 million students have graduated from NIOS. It is one of the national boards like the CBSC and ICSE. The other two boards are international boards, IB and IGCSE. And the rest of them, it could be the Madhyamik Board of West Bengal or the State Board of Maharashtra, Gujarat, Tamil Nadu. These are all regional boards. NIS annually enrolls 3 and 3 lakh and 50 thousand students, making it really the biggest. Now, when you have so big a board, there will be challenges, irresponsible messages, unknown factors. All I'm interested in is one child who passes this board well. That's my child. That's you as your child. If I'm running an institution, I'm interested in the first group of students which graduated and they are my credibility and my testimony. Today, we'll do these four things in the next 25 minutes. I'll talk about the board. You can ask me questions, everything around NIOS, the subjects, how do we choose? What happens after NIOS? Can I write NEAT? Can I write JE? Can my student be qualified enough? The examination pattern. And finally, we will go and fill a form which is open right now for stream one, block one. That is, if you want to go and appear for your grade 10th examination or grade 12th examination, you can do that. So I hope you are with me. Thank you so much, all of you. You know, you're sticking there. You're just getting into the board. And this hopefully would be a, a tool for any parent who's confused, who's unknown what to do with the idea of for the children, the idea of which board to go for. As they say, Sharma ji kya kahenge? Don't worry now about Sharma ji. As the three idiot word says, worry about what your child wants to be. The freedom NIS gave me for my daughter was the most beautiful thing I had. You know, when I started researching about the board, I wanted a board that was Indian, you know. So, you know, I don't want a, a, a board which says, oh, Canadian curriculum, go to Canada, Ontario, that's a good curriculum there, or an Australian or a Singapore curriculum. I wanted a board which gives me Indian certification. NIS has that. Also, I wanted a board that gives me array of subjects, choices. If I don't want maths, what are my options? Can I take psychology? Can I take accounting, business studies, entrepreneurship? Well, the board said yes. I also wanted a board which was easy on my pocket. Well, I'm absolutely sure a lot of us look into the world of commerce and say a board which is not expensive at also, where I can reasonably save enough for say higher studies maybe. And then I wanted a board where there is a system for examination. I know the pattern. I know how to crack it. This is what NIS gave me. You know, when I took the leap of faith from a, from a CBSC school from Delhi public to NIS, I started with my own daughter. My friend's children who were, oh, I said, either you're, fa you're faithful, either F-O-O-L or F-U-L. And they took the leap of faith and the students are doing absolutely wonderful. NIS and CBSC are in the same building in Delhi. They use the same publication, N-C-E-R-T. NIS has even more structured at, at a different level. They have what we did last two weeks back, an OB level A, B and C. So I'll not dwell into that. That's for grade three, five and Grade 8. Don't get confused when I say o, o levels. These are not the Cambridge O levels. The NIS OB stands for Open Basic Education for grade 3, 5 and 8. That is a video available. You can watch it on a, on a WhatsApp or a YouTube channel and you can absolutely ask questions around it. Most of the time, most parents don't even want to go for OB level. Because, you know, we are confident we can do homeschooling. We have an online structured curriculum. They'll teach us at Golden Sparrow. We'll give you report cards. We'll give you assessment sheets. We'll do PTMs online. They'll have fun. So we will take care of until you reach grade 10. NIS grade 9 starts. The studies start two years. So we start from 9th. And then the 10th, you write your NIS secondary course, which is equal to 10 standard everywhere else. So you write your 9th and 10th. So 10th is your board exams for 10th. And then there is a board exam for senior secondary, which is equivalent to grade 12. Yes, 
you will get your transfer certificates which is valid accepted every single college in india is bound to take it now nobody can say no you can file an rte the rti if they don't take it there is right to education also and you have all the rights with nis what are the choices it gives me how how does it open up the board is so beautiful with subjects so you know so you write your 10th examination but what combination can i take up you can take up physics with business studies or you can take up home science if you don't want mathematics there is environmental studies mass communication a favorite subject of mine you can take up economics and if you want to be a psychologist take up psychology the idea is there is a cocktail available for you there is an entire array of subjects you are not forced unlike a standard school where 45 students want to take up subject 1 you have no choice you have to take up three languages right that's what school does you take up a, a, a one language english then you take up hindi and you take up a local language i recommend learning language i am a polyglot myself you know i grew up in kolkata i grew up in andaman nicobar i can speak tamil because i do engineering i'm a gujarati so i can speak that very well i know urdu and hindi is a national you know so we are we are all across but for me to prepare for my board exam i preferred one subject english let the students enjoy i did sanskrit and french in school i don't speak a word of sanskrit and french why because we were only taught for the sake of examination can i make them enjoy and this is what nis gives me so we do minimum of five subjects that's compulsory or seven subjects maximum so the cocktail that we do is is this is how we will work out so what we try to do with nis is we pick up one language there is an option of taking hindi also there is an option of taking up gujarati or marathi or malayalam also 100% you can do that but in golden sparrow we say we'll teach you two languages but you learn and the first first language and the rest two languages you enjoy a lot of things around it so we pick up english and then you see 1 to 13 right now what i've shown you is 1 to 13 this is a subject i strongly recommend number 6 it's called data entry operations it's basic computers it's a beautiful subject with 60 marks in practicals the code is 2 to 9 you score well you do well your marks increase if you don't want to do maths which is number 8 2 11 you can take up home science You know that's two one six. Oh, this is beautiful. What is home science all about? It talks about growing up. It talks about fabric. It talks about different means of food, diet, carbohydrate. It's a great subject if you want to get into that kind of thing. You you should take science and technology two one two. If you don't want science, you can take economics. You can take up psychology or accounting. It's not over. There are another list now fourteen to twenty eight. There are languages of Sanskrit, Urdu, Arabic, Sindhi. you can take up hindustani music carnatic music i cannot teach you that i am a sunny deal of dance and music but there's so many options available you see there is subject number 25 called entrepreneurship well amazing right so what happens is there is a group now so in group b there are certain subjects you can take up like math science social studies economics business data entry psychology indian culture heritage accounting painting so these are a cocktail that you can choose and you can be ready for your grade 10 plus their vocational subject i strongly recommend taking a one vocational last year nis made the vocational compulsory this year they have reduced the compulsion out of it it's not mandatory anymore but i believe vocation is a beautiful subject look at that nis have collaborated with microsoft for a course in data science and artificial intelligence machine learning who says nis as a board is lacking behind i think it's a most advanced board right now i don't think cambridge has artificial intelligence and machine learning right now correct me if i'm wrong i'll be glad if more boards pick up but there's a choice you've got take it up in your grade 10 in your grade 12 look at the vocation subject list you've got i the one i have highlighted is 608 number 83 so we've listed 83 choice of subjects right now basic computing i love the uh, i love the topic this year's question paper had what is digi locker all of you who have your aadhar card and your pan card and driving license on your mobile phone in digi locker you know what it is imagine it is being taught to a grade 10 student simple practical subject there is a subject in vocation called yoga assistant there is web development there is crm domestic voice there is something on beautician beekeeping there is embroidery tailoring i i am absolutely mesmerized by the options we've got
I hope you're looking at the concept and saying, wow, it's a board that is going well. Quickly, we, we, we summarize the last 10 minutes of it is there are three ways you score in an NIS examination. Number one, as soon as you register, which is open, I'll show you the registration form now. You will be given, so your books, so there was a question, I'm answering some of the questions already. You will be given hardbound books. NIS books are not available in a regular bookstore. You can go ahead and buy the guides on Amazon or download the PDFs which are freely available on the Amazon on the NIS website, nis.ac.in or you will be couriered your books. So make sure your address that you give for correspondence is the right one. Once you get it, there is a concept called TMA, Tutor Mark Assignment. So that is like maximum you get 20 marks depending on the subject. The subject which has no practical like English or business studies, you have 20 marks. Subject which has less marks for practical like maths and science, you have close to 17 marks. Subjects like data entry, TMA, six marks, painting, it's eight marks, so do not get worried. But these are assignments you write and you submit it online now. Everything is digitized. Then your study center will hold practical classes. It will also have PCP classes. This is personal conduct program. So you have to go to the PCP, they will teach you about the subject and you get formative and summative marks. So in a subject like painting, you get almost 70 marks for PC uh, practical, 70, that's huge. Data entry, 60, basic computing, 608, vocational subject, 60 marks is what is yours if you do the practical well. So here you are, you are getting your TMS scores, you're getting a practical scores and finally, there's a theory exam like any other board it will allocate a, a, a exam center. You go to the exam center, you download your hall ticket, you show your other hall ticket, ID card, you write the exam and there we are. We are done with the NIS examination. So the TMA is the first part. You can, you, the TMA is the six questions. We will do a session only on TMA. The six simple questions, you copy them. It's more like assignments. You see and write it, but it's very, very value addition. Your child is getting acquainted with it. Every year, a TMA uh, question paper is uploaded. You download it. And you know, we would guide you if, if you're a part of Golden Sparrow, how to submit it, where to submit it, and you get your marks pretty easily. It's done and dusted. You can actually look at sample papers online. It's free available again on the website. There are guides available, Flipkart, Amazon. You can go to some other sites which have put those sites in. There are a lot of audio, visual, you know, tutorials available. It's an absolute amazing. Only thing you need someone to structure, guide you on the NIS part. Well, now, the last part I wanted to dedicate of what happens with NIOS. You know, when I was an educator with Cambridge, and I still am as a Cambridge consultant to few schools, NIS was meant to be for special children, weak children, failed children. And you Google NIS mark sheet, and this is the kind of mark sheet you get. 37, 60, 55, not very. This is like Indian scores, how Virat Kohli and Rohit Sharma scoring at the oval test that we lost today. Not very comfortable, not very convincing, not very, you know, confidence boosting. Then you have those, uh, you have those uh, questions. Oh, NIS students, they can't do anything good. They cannot write NEED, JE, exam centers are far. NIS is not generous with marks. All myths, all myth. When I went in and did it on my own, well, here is the score shirt for you. This is the real scorecard for you. Look at this boy, Muazzam. You know, he's right now studying with a Warki Gems group in Dubai. He has taken up science. I had a conversation with him. Very confident boy. He said, can I drop you know, chemistry? I'm going for higher studies. And look at his scores. 92 for English, 95 in data entry, 94 in mathematics. Somebody told me and asked, gives less marks. Yeah, he did score less in science or business. But well, he studied business studies in grade 10. And this is his testimonial. And these are still the COVID. This is my first batch. Or rather the second one. The first one was one girl. Now she's a chef in UK. I had shown a picture. But the idea is, who says you can't score? Who says you can't go ahead in life? Thank you so much. They reserve applause. I'm proud of these boys. Think of Daniel Bandukwala from Karnataka. Well, he's doing his integrated course. And hopefully he'll crack the IIT. Look at his scores. Oh my goodness, there's 30 marks to be added in data entry practical and he has scored 86% in NIS. It may not still be like 99 you get in ICSC because those exams are in-house. 
your marks are of no value if you're not learning life skills these students are learning combination of subjects not only did they learn this business studies they did the sdg goals they did life skills they did public speaking they were absolutely confident children and they dropped subjects they did not want he did not want daniel did not want painting he dropped painting and there is no problem schools will not allow you to do that nis allows you to do that there is another boy mudabbir again an nis student he is more confident moving from cbs to nis and now he wants to be in google and i'm sure very soon you will see him there what about others there is this arjun bharat check arjun bharat google him arjun bharat is in iit chennai and he secured the first position in iit je and he is a nis student scoring 96% in class 11th or uh, 12th well arjun congratulations you are a beacon to so many of others this is what arjun has to say i feel nis is similar to cbsc syllabus only it's more condensed and slightly easier i would spend 6 to 7 hours for studies while on saturday and sunday i study for 12 hours guys the only way forward is to work hard he plays badminton also but this is the secret of cracking iit je isn't it amazing well these are these are time times of india report well this is the exploits of navnisha and shrisha who has cleared iit je advance examination and ios i feel proud i think nis should thank us for spreading the awareness because it is a gem hidden and we're not talking about it so so this my friends is what nis is all about i will quickly take up questions as i, I look into it and yes uh, you uh, so karuna ma'am thank you so much for putting in please drop your questions in the whatsapp group we almost come to an end what you can do i have a friend who went to um, uh, montreal in canada and they still wanted to do the nis what you could do karuna ma'am if your children are willing to come back there are no examination centers in north america there is nis has lot of examination center in every single gulf country from oman to bahrain to saudi arabia to kuwait but unfortunately there's none in singapore or north america so if your children are homeschooling ma'am you can either go and since you already moved to canada perhaps you can go for a local board there but if you are willing let's say you're coming back to meet your you know your in-laws the grandparents are here then they can enroll in nis they need to you you we can contact uh, you know christina ma'am directly if you are in mumbai we can guide you to which exam center you only come for the duration of 15 days when the theory exams done and hopefully we can put a application for your practicals to be waived off that's possible but it's a challenge uh, we will talk about directly on on your particular case beyond that well this is a board with all the gazettes of the aggregation indian government can give you nobody can deny you admission based on your nis score in fact being from maharashtra in mumbai when you apply for your college my students have done very well they've all gone to respective colleges through the regular board it's so transparent you go to maharashtra you know online admissions for 11 12th for higher studies and with nis you can go no no absolute discrepancy there so quickly people ask me how do you reach iit absolutely how do you reach iit the only way you can reach iit is how these boys reach iit by practice practice and practice well they have come from absolutely disadvantaged background and you know you have seen super 30 the the amazing work anand kumar sir has done well that's the only way you reach boards remember i started by saying are only milestones boards are milestones not destinations i wish all of you you know today the top jobs in the world be it elon musk tesla or facebook or google or netflix they look at your skills they look at what have you done in sdg goals how good a communicator you are how much risk have you taken in life and as home schoolers i think we have taken you know i i met one of the amazing parents yesterday uh, the the husband is 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 a, is a, is, a, is in police mumbai police and they said that i can defend myself against criminal but not against my relatives when they said oh you home schooling you're spoiling a child's life i said don't worry this is the best decision you could take trust me there is a long way ahead and hopefully we can always get in touch we can speak to all of you you can please you know share your questions i have another 10 minutes of sharing the application form with you but that i will just you know hopefully take it forward we can we'll stop the recording for a while and and or maybe we can take up quick questions and we'll we'll go ahead and fill the application form together 
So I've got some questions. Thank you, Shazia ma'am, on there. And with regards to anyone having personal questions or queries, if you're on the WhatsApp group, you have all the admins number. Uh, I will request just to put in Christina ma'am's number also. And my number is on the screen. So we are accessible on WhatsApp, please. Absolutely fine. Yes, we enjoy our Sundays, but we are always there to answer because this is a community, a tribe we are making. So thank you so much, everybody. Hopefully you have a little more confidence than you had before when you joined this webinar. And, and sure enough, let's make this boat rock and let's make us children superstars. Uh, Dawood, Mariam ma'am has a question. Right, please go ahead, Mariam ma'am. We'll take up questions on uh, with people here and then I've got questions on the, the group also. I'll take those from there. Yeah. Yes, Mariam ma'am, we can hear you. Go ahead, we have some. Uh, could you write down? I, I think we can't hear you, ma'am. All right, just just drop your message in the chat box because we aren't able to hear you. I'll take a couple of questions on the group now. Does NIS provide written material for grade 9 and 10 hard copies? Yes. Once you apply, you can uh, have access. They will give you physical books. Well, there are some recycled papers, so don't. It's an SDG board, uh, but but yes, uh, they give you books. But it might take a couple of weeks before the books come. Meanwhile, the the entire PDFs for every single subject is available online, free of cost. So you can download them. I recommend not to print 